Hey, what's going on people, Bear Fox here and welcome back to another brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can legally reduce waiting time for getting your rig in GeForce Now. Once again, this video is completely safe and I do not infringe any rights of Nvidia in any case. Make sure to watch this video till the end to get to know how you can reduce waiting time and get your rigs faster. And with all this said, let's get started. Alright, first things first is getting hands on GeForce now. If you have not yet downloaded it, make sure to download it on your computer. Do not use the web version because I don't think it works on that version. But once you have downloaded and opened up your GeForce now, what you need to do is click on these three dots right over here and then go over to the settings panel. Now scroll down and you will find server location. Now the trick lies over here which is a really simple trick. What you need to do is go and open up your browser. Now, once you are here, you need to look at the world clock and you need to find the countries in the night time. So as you guys can see right now, the European countries are in the night time and that is because it is 2.42 a.m. right over here. Now, the trick is you need to play on the servers which are currently in the night time since they will be having low traffic. Hence, you will be getting much lower waiting time but there might be chances that you will be playing in the daytime in the other part of the world and you need to connect to the furthest part of the servers from your location and that will result in increasing the latency with that being said have you ever wanted to record your key moments or clips in your gameplay but never actually found a really nice screen recorder that can help you record those clips efficiently well I would like to introduce you all to Video Solo Screen Recorder. It's a lightweight recorder which allows you to record and share your gameplay without affecting the performance. It's a charm for low-end computers since it doesn't occupy much CPU and it can record in 60fps without any lag or stutter. The interface looks really clean and it offers us video, audio and game recorder. Well, since we are recording our games, I would like to tell you that you can select a particular screen which allows you to record your gameplay seamlessly without any interruptions of notifications or anything going on your computer you also have an option to simultaneously record with your webcam place it anywhere and resize it however you want and it will start recording your camera you also have an option to record your system sound as well as microphone and it also comes with options like noise cancellation and microphone enhancement which is really amazing at this level. Wondering to record key moments or gameplays? Video Solo got it covered. The best part is it doesn't even have watermarks and it works well with all kinds of games, especially web games. You can also customize your preferences just the way you want, from video quality to video format to frame rate. You can even record your mouse in keystrokes and set up hotkeys to personalize this recorder for yourself. And the best part is you can still take screenshots while you're recording. So you can even make a thumbnail and a video simultaneously. You can download Video Solo Screen Recorder absolutely free on your Windows or you can purchase a subscription for it which is really affordable. I would give it a 10 out of 10 for the first step towards your creation. It's trusted by millions of users worldwide to so check out Video Solo Screen Recorder from the link in the description below. Once you're done setting the server, what you need to do, you have to search for GeForce Now on your computer and go over to the file location. Then right click and then go and open up the file location once again. Once you're here, you will find the GeForce Now JSON. You need to open this file with Notepad. Now, once this file opens up, what you need to do is scroll down until you find the NVSDL IHRD configurable. You need to set this thing to true. Click on Control and S, and then you need to restart your GeForce Now. Once your GeForce Now restarts, you need to go over to the settings once again, scroll down and you will find the direct mouse input option. This will help you to reduce input latency to the maximum level since this will directly intake your mouse input and it will not take it over another driver. Let's say you're facing input latency and you're facing network delay, how you can fix those things. Well, I have left a link to this file in the description below, which is the GeForce Now Fix Pack. You can download it right away, open it up, and you will find in three simple folders. First one will fix your input latency, second one will fix your network, and third one will fix your PC. Let's start with fixing the input delay. Over here, I have left a lot of keyboard buffers, which 
basically improves the performance of your mouse and keyboard. Now you need to comment down the mouse and keyboard that you're using and I will be replying to you which one of these you need to use. I have also left a default keyboard buffer so in case you do not find the settings really helpful you can go with the default settings. The second folder is the network fix folder where you have to run both of these registries. This one will boost your system responsiveness and this one will disable power throttling hence you will be getting maximum internet connection possible on your computer. Third one is the PC fix and over here you will find in two registry files. First one is disable unnecessary services and second one will increase power efficiency. You need to make sure that you run both of these these registries and that will stop utilizing your computer's resources and give your computer enough power to run internet properly. And here is how it works. As you guys can see, I have 169 players ahead of me, but after doing these steps, see, I just clicked on it and it's connecting and now it's loading up the game. I didn't even have to wait. This method really works and I want you guys to comment down below and let me know if this helped you guys or not. Once again, a general rule of thumb, I always recommend you guys to use Ethernet while you are playing on GeForce Now. I would rather not suggest you guys to play on wireless network because that will give you the highest amount of ping and highest amount of input latency. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button. Also, don't forget to check out my other videos on multiple games out there. We'll see you guys in another video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.